हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्टडी आई क्यू सो आई एम बैक फ्रॉम माय समर हॉलीडेज आई वाज ऑन अ टू वीक्स ब्रेक टू हिमाचल इन माय एब्सेंस मिस्टर प्रशांत धवन मेड द वीडियोस ही डिड अ ट्रेमेंडस जॉब एंड यू ऑल ऑल्सो डिड अ ट्रेमेंडस जॉब एक्सेप्टिंग हिज वीडियोज सो थैंक यू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल ब्रिंग टू यू द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द फोर्थ वीक दैट इज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ऑफ जून टू ट्वेंटी ऑफ जून प्लीज ऑल्सो नॉट दैट इन जून वी हैव ओनली थर्टी डेज so from 26th of june to 30th of june that is last 5 days of june i will bring a video on 1st of july because on 2nd of july you have the nicl exam so these video these mcqs which i present in these videos are very useful for the state pcs exams banking exam ssc exams and any exams non upsc for upsc will start from very soon probably from 1st of july a very special specially for upsc prelims of 2018 a separate series If you want to buy our pen drive courses right now, the best selling course is UPSC 2018. We are very proud to present this course. We have been working on it for six months now, and uh, three of our best faculties have made this course. I, Dr. Mahipal Singh Rathore, and Bhumika Saini. Bhumika Saini has also cleared uh, UPSC 2016. She got ranked 664. Mahipal Singh Rathore has cleared um, this exam, uh, Rajasthan Civil Service exam, two times, and he has also huge experience in UPSC. And I was never interested in UPSC, but I have been teaching for the past three years, and I teach. Environment Ecology and Science and Technology. Now Railways, SSC, CGL, IBPS, PO Clerk. These pen drives are also available. If you want to buy any of our pen drive courses, shoot this number seven two nine one zero five nine four seven six. So without further delay, let me begin. Karnataka government has recently taken a decision. This decision is in the interest of the farmers. So basically, Karnataka government recently issued a official order for waiver of farm loans taken from state-run cooperative institutions of up to what amount? so if you are a farmer if you have taken a loan up to 50000 rupees from any public sector or government cooperative institution it will be waived off and to get and total 8165 crore rupees is the uh, load that will be put on the exchequer but this is good for farmers so when they can give the uh, loans to industries why not farmers and uttar pradesh government was the first to start this so called uh, farmer uh, you know loan waivers and the other governments followed suit so karnataka government is a congress government and uh, siddaramaiah is the chief minister which city has become first city in india to have fuel home delivery service and in in fact this service will be uh, implemented by my petrol pump which is a one year old startup so this will be done in the uh, in the city of bengaluru bengaluru is also called space city why it is called space city because it has headquartered of indian space research organization i isro pride of india also bengaluru is also called science city one of the reasons is because it has indian institute of science one of the best universities not just in india but in the world reserve bank of india has recently extended the scope of which of the following schemes now i cover these videos these uh, facts in my um, banking awareness monthly video that i'll bring to you within two days so reserve bank of india has uh, extended the scope of uh, a scheme which is called banking ombudsman please note that banking ombudsman is basically a person who um, who is you know consumers go to banking ombudsman to lodge their complaints against the banks for not following rules and regulations and uh, banking ombudsman does not charge a penny from the consumers and he works in the interest of the public presently there are 20 offices of banking ombudsman and banking ombudsman was introduced in 1995 web portal merit has been launched by which union ministry merit what is the full form of merit so merit means merit order dispatch of electricity for rejuvenation and transparency rejuvenation of income and transparency i repeat it once more merit order dispatch of electricity for rejuvenation of income and transparency and this therefore is launched by the ministry of power who is our power minister piyush goel Meghalaya state government has signed two memorandum of understandings MOU with which bank for migrating government transactions to digital mode all the government transactions will be now made digital and for that Meghalaya state government will take the help of who else but state bank of india chairman is arundhati bhattacharya and state bank of india is the largest bank in india largest lender in india let me tell you something about meghalaya meghalaya is very very beautiful capital is shillong meghalaya also has cherapunji near cherapunji there is a place called mosen ram which has recorded the highest rainfall in india's history called the wettest place in the world and meghalaya's chief minister is mukul sangma mukul sangma and governor is banwari lal purohit by the way banwari lal purohit is also the governor of assam 
International Widows Day is celebrated every year on which day? So widows are still seen, you know, like with a different eye in our society. Everybody looks down upon the widows. They are not given proper rights. A lot of places widows are not allowed to remarry also. So there is a problem regarding uh, their rights, human rights. So International Widows Day is celebrated to encourage widows for their, uh, you know, spreading awareness about their rights. We observe it on June the 23rd. And United Nations calls the widows invisible women. Invisible women. Which city has become the first in India to install a robot to control the traffic? And you can see the robot here. It has the traffic lights also and basically it's a, uh, it's a robot which will control the traffic. So this city is Indore. By the way, what is special about Indore? Do you know? Indore is in Madhya Pradesh and it is the cleanest city in India. Okay. Uh, as per the Swachh Sarvekshan or the Cleanliness India Survey that was conducted recently, Indore is the cleanest city in India followed by Bhopal. Bhopal is the second cleanest city in India. So the two cleanest cities of India are in Madhya Pradesh. Whereas the dirtiest city in, in India is Gonda. It is in Uttar Pradesh. So keep all these... Uh, uh, facts handy they will really help you ola ola has tied up it is a taxi aggregator you must have used ola so ola has tied up with which state to train 20000 youth in the next 5 years as micro entrepreneurs in the transportation business ola basically uh, its ceo is bhavesh agarwal recently raised huge funding from uh, softbank and other companies and ola's main competitor is uber Uber CEO is Travis Kalanick. He was on a visit to India also very, very recently. Travis Kalanick. Travis Kalanick's mother recently passed away in very unfortunate incident. Uh, Ola, Bhavesh Agarwal, Uber, Travis Kalanick. So Ola will train people from Maharashtra. Maharashtra's governor is C. Vidya Sagar Rao. By the way, C. Vidya Sagar Rao is also the governor of Tamil Nadu. Additional charge of Tamil Nadu. And these people will be trained, 20,000 youth will be trained under Pramod Mahajan Kaushal Vikas Yojana. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu of the Telugu Desam Party recently led the foundation stone for a greenfield no frills airport at Orvakal in which district? Where is Orvakal? If you know this, answer is very very simple. So Andhra Pradesh capital is Amravati. Chief Minister is Chandra Babu Naidu of the Telugu Desam Party. This is the photo from the ceremony of the laying down of the foundation stone. And uh, Orvakal is in Kurnool district in Andhra Pradesh. 1000 acres uh, is the space on which it will be built at a cost of 90 crore rupees. Gross fiscal deficit of all the states has reached how much amount in fiscal 2016 as per the Reserve Bank of India's latest handbook of statistics for on states for this for the fiscal just ended on 31st of March 2017 that is financial year 2017. So the fiscal let me give you some uh, facts into in the year 1991 when we uh, adopted liberalization of our economy our uh, gross fiscal deficit of all the states put together was 18,790 crores and now it is more than 4,93,000 crores. So you can see, uh, although they are saying that it will improve, but when, who knows, God knows. So 4,93,360 crores is the combined gross deficit of all the states of India put together. We have 29 states and 7 union territories. India Post. India Post recently released a postage stamp to commemorate which of the following? Which act? So it was the Passport Act of 1967 and therefore we are now in 2017. So it has completed 50 years. And on this occasion, a lot of uh, schemes were also announced. For example, if you are less than 8 years old and if you are more than 60 years old, you will get a 10% waiver on your uh, passport fee. So Passport Act and India Post release. And India Post also opened its payments bank, which is the first public sector uh, payments bank in the country. How many medals did India win at the BRICS Wushu competition which was held in Guangzhou? Guangzhou is in China and BRICS is basically an association of five countries. Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. So these are the five and you should know who is uh, the head of state or the most powerful executive in these. India Modi, yes, China Xi Jinping. South Africa is Jacob Zuma, Russia Putin of course and Brazil is uh, Michel Tamer. So uh, these is the association. BRICS, by the way, also has a bank which is called the New Development Bank, which is headquartered in Shanghai. And New Development Bank president is an Indian for five years uh, or more. His name is K.V. Kamath. K.V. Kamath has held important positions in ICICI, Infosys, etc. So in how many medals did India win? Six medals. And out of the six, India won two golds. So keep that in mind. 
who has been awarded International Dublin Literary Award for novel A General Theory of Oblivion. Please note, International Dublin Literary Award is not a small award. In fact, it is the largest award for English literature in the world. And Dublin is the capital of a country which is called Ireland. Okay, I am not saying Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland is a part of UK. I am talking about just Ireland. So, the name of this author is Jose Eduardo Agulusa. That is the name of the author. And he is from Angola. Keep that also in mind. Which agriculture microbiologist has been conferred the Ministry of Environment Award for 2017 in Japan? Microbiology is the study of very, very small, like minute uh, microbes like bacteria, etc. And in agriculture, his contribution is significant. And that's why he has been awarded this Ministry of Environmental Award for 2017 in Japan. His name is Shri Hari Chandra Ghatgi. Please note our agriculture minister is Radha Mohan Singh. And our environment minister was Anil Madhav Dave, but unfortunately, three weeks back he passed away. Now, the Minister for Science and Technology, Dr. Harshwardhan, has been given the additional charge of the Ministry of Environment. National Democratic Alliance, BJP and friends are called NDA. So, NDA presidential candidate is Ramnath Kovind, and therefore he has to resign from his position because uh, he cannot hold any other office. He is a um, he is a presidential nominee and it's very, very likely that he is the next president of India because BJP has all the required numbers. So, Ramnath Kovind has resigned from his post as governor of Bihar. Who has been given additional charge of, or you know, as the governor of Bihar to uh, make up for his absence? It is the it is the governor of West Bengal, Kesri Nath Tripathi. And, uh, you know, Ramnath Kovind will fight against Meera Kumar. Meera Kumar is daughter of Babu Jagjeevan Ram. She is a Dalit leader. She is also one of the very, very few people who has defeated Mayawati. In fact, she is the only one who has defeated Mayawati in any election. Who won the gold medal in the women's 10 meter air pistol event at the ISSF Junior World Championship rifle pistol being held at Suhal in Germany? Uh, she is a female 10 meter air pistol was won by Yashashwini Singh Deswal. You also need to remember one more name. Because in men's 25 meter pistol also, there was a gold medal from India and his name is Anish Bhanwala. So they might as well ask you, Anish Bhanwala is from which sport or he represents which sport? He's a famous personality from which sport? Same goes for Yashashwini Singh Deswal. So keep these two in mind. President Pranam Mukherjee, who, is, uh, who will very soon depart, his tenure will be over soon. He recently received the first copy of the book, which is called Garud Puran. It has been published by which trust? or which publishing company it has been published by the all india kashiraj trust all india kashiraj trust and please note this all india kashiraj trust was inaugurated by the first president of india dr rajender prasad which bank has bagged the awards in nine categories not one not two but nine categories at the scotch awards so this bank is vijaya bank now let me tell you one or two things about vijaya bank vijaya bank of course is a bank from karnataka then vijaya bank is headquartered in the capital of karnataka that is bengaluru and Vijaya Bank CEO is Mr. Kishore Kumar Sansi. Keep these three things in mind. Which Indian badminton player won the men's single title at the Australian Open? It's a super series. So therefore, now he has won four super series badminton title. And do you know whom did he defeat? He defeated Olympic gold medalist Chen Long, the best, one of the best players in the history of badminton. His name is Kidambi Shrikant. He's a student of Pulela Gopichand. Kidambi Shrikant. Who has been named as the crown prince of Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia was in news recently because it broke its ties with Qatar. Like in Middle East, there are only three powerful countries. Saudi Arabia is there, Qatar is there and Iran is there. So Qatar is now very powerful because of its gas resources, etc. And Qatar is trying for dominance in the Middle East. Saudi Arabia accused Qatar of supporting terrorist organizations like the Muslim Brotherhood, like the ISIS and so on and therefore broke the ties. So, who is now the crown prince of Saudi Arabia? His name is Mohammed bin Salman. And uh, about Saudi Arabia, you need to remember two things which are very, very important. Saudi Arabia's capital is Riyadh and currency is Riyal. Don't get confused. Don't intermix the two. Riyadh is the capital. Riyal is the currency. Which telescope of NASA has recently discovered 219 new planet candidates? 219 potential planets. By the way, how many... Planets do we have? Eight. NASA is headquartered in Washington DC. And this telescope is legendary. Because 
so far it has discovered 4034 uh, you know planets total planets 4034 potential planets this telescope is Kepler Space Telescope of NASA Startup India virtual hub has been created by the ministry uh, our central government so it was launched by which union minister in New Delhi it was launched by Nirmala Sitaraman because she is the minister for commerce and trade and this virtual hub will help the entrepreneurs how it will help uh, by providing knowledge by acting as a nodal platform nodal agency and it will connect the stakeholders and provide resources election commission recently disqualified which of the following from the membership of any state legislature and contesting polls for the next three years so who has been banned or barred by the election commission from contesting any elections uh, in the state for next three years he is a minister in the Madhya Pradesh government his name is Narottam Mishra and by the way Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister is Shivra Singh Chauhan keep that also in mind and why did, did they disqualify him because he was showing wrong accounts uh, he was filing wrong account information Atal Incubation Center Atal Incubation Center for Biotechnology Startups it has been set up by the CSIR Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology where where did they set it set it up they set it up in Hyderabad capital of Telangana and it is supported by Niti Aayog Niti Aayog and government will release funds of around 10 crore rupees in the next five years for supporting biotech startups so Niti Aayog has three important people CEO is Mr. Amitabh Kant chairman is Pradhan Mantri Modi because Prime Minister is always the chairman of Niti Aayog Niti Aayog is the new name of Planning Commission of India now we don't use the word Planning Commission anymore we say Niti Aayog National Institution for Transforming India and Niti Aayog's vice chairman is Arvind Pangaria Hike Messenger Hike Messenger has partnered with which bank to add an in-app payments feature now you can do the payment also and Hike has become the first messenger in India to launch payment facility on its messaging platform for that it has partnered with Yes Bank which is headquartered in Mumbai and Rana Kapoor is the CEO of Yes Bank how many cities will be ranked on the city livability index which is launched by the Ministry of Urban Development so Ministry of Urban Development our minister is Venkaiya Naidu Venkaiya Naidu is also the minister for information and broadcasting and how many cities will be ranked total this is a livability index which will show how good is a city for living in and total 116 cities will be ranked on 79 parameters and 500 crore rupees is the prize money or the incentive that will be provided to the 16 states based on their performance in this index as per the 23rd annual cost of living survey which was conducted by Mercer which Indian city is the most expensive for expatriates expatriates are the foreigner foreigners or the foreign people living in India they according to them Mumbai is the costliest city in India and it is ranked 57th costliest city in the world the costliest city in the world is Luanda which is in Angola it is first second is Hong Kong and third is Tokyo three new members have been appointed by the Reserve Bank of India to the overseeing committee which of the following is not one of them so YM Deos Thali is there MBN Rao is there S Raman is also there so Vimal Jain is not there so these three are the members by the way there are total five members in the overseeing committee very very important who are the remaining two remember their name Pradeep Kumar he is the most important one because Pradeep Kumar is the chairman of the overseeing committee and then we have Mr. Janaki Ballab also Janaki Ballab Pradeep Kumar YM Deos Thali MBN Rao and S Raman these are the five people who presented the Punjab state budget which was uh, approximately 1.18 lakh crore rupees for financial year 2018 that is 2017-18 recently so Punjab's uh, chief minister is the guy in the picture captain Amrinder Singh and governor is VP Singh Badnor and uh, the person who presented Punjab state budget is Manpreet Badal so Punjab has announced lot of important things like for example in Punjab free education for girls from nursery to PhD in government schools and colleges and also loan waiver of up to 2 lakh rupees for small and marginal farmers so they are trying to be more farmer friendly Tata group is buying out which of the following uh, online grocery companies Tata group chairman is N Chandrasekharan who was earlier TCS chairman keep that in mind very very important person because he is the chairman of Tata Sons so Tata group is buying which company it is the company Grocer Max and they want to basically enter into the online grocery business which union minister presented 100 volumes of father of the nation Mahatma Gandhi his basically collected works 100 books for the parliament library so his name is Venkaiya Naidu who is the information broadcasting minister 
फैशन आईकॉन कार्ला फेंडी शी पास अवे शी वॉज फ्रॉम विच कंट्री शी वॉज इन टू लेदर बिजनेस लग्जरी शूज बैग्स आइकॉनिक फैशन डिजाइनर ओनर एंड शी वॉज फ्रॉम इटली प्रदिमन कृष्ण काओ ही ऑल्सो पास अवे ही वॉज अ फेमस वॉट सो ही बेसिकली फाउंडेड वट इज बी टूडे नोन एज आई पी आर इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर प्लाज्मा रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर प्लाज्मा रिसर्च विच इज इन गांधीनगर गांधीनगर इज द कैपिटल ऑफ गुजरात he was a physicist very very important person he was also a recipient of padma shri and uh, that's all you need to know gujarat chief minister is vijay rupani government has set the deadline for banks and the post offices to deposit the demonetized notes last year on 8th of november narendra modi threw a bomb which was called demonetization and the demonetized 500 and 1000 rupee notes rbi has said it needs to every bank and post office needs to submit it to rbi by latest by july the 20th government recently sold how much percent of its stake in larsen and tubro which is lnt which is into construction into i mean it's in lot of things consulting and so on for a hooping 4158 crore rupees which is a sort of a disinvestment government has done government stake before this was 6.7% in lnt and it has sold its 2.5% stake now so what is their stake remaining now it is 4. 2 percent larsen and tubro cabinet recently approved setting up of a service which is called in mms for enhancing the efficiency in material management what is the full form of i n mms it is called indian naval material management service mms so indian naval which means navy they have done it for navy by the way navy chief is mr sunil lamba if you remember he took over from robin dhawan last year sunil lamba is the chief of navy in india what is the name of the indian origin doctor who has been appointed as honorary vice president of british medical association british medical association legendary doctor he is now british medical association's vice president so what is his name his name is kailash chan and uk's prime minister is theresa may she got a beating by the labor party recently but she is still there theresa may is the prime minister of uk uk is comprised of four regions Wales capital is Cardiff, Scotland capital is Edinburgh, England capital is London, and Northern Ireland. Who has been appointed as America's new ambassador to India? This is a very important position because America and India they are good friends now, and Narendra Modi is right now as I speak in America. In fact, he has just left America to reach Netherlands. So Modi met Trump, and America's new ambassador to India is Mr. Kenneth Jester. He will take over from Richard Vermeer. When is United Nations Public Service Day observed every year? Public Service Day. The first award ceremony for this was conducted in 2003. We observe it on June the 23rd every year. Asian Development Bank. It is going to provide a loan to India, 275 million dollars for a piped water supply project in the 64 small towns in which state? Which state is getting a whooping 275 million dollars loan from Asian Development Bank? Asian Development Bank headquartered in Manila, capital of Philippines. Uh, it is a japan and america dominated bank adb and uh, this scheme uh, piped water supply project will benefit 3 lakh farmers in madhya pradesh please note madhya pradesh governor is om prakash kohli and chief minister is shivraj singh chauhan which life insurance company has tied up with suntech to help facilitate in computing and invoicing of the gst compliant debit tax and credit tax so gst has been applied now and therefore there will be lot of computing invoicing so for that which insurance company has tied up with suntech this company is idbi federal life insurance what is the name of the ayurved doctor ayurveda physician who has been appointed as special secretary in ayush ministry ayush is a separate ministry in india which has five traditional system of medicine a stands for ayurveda y stands for yoga u for unani s for siddha and h for homeopathy these are the five uh, system of medicine and minister for this is shripad yeso nayak who is the minister of state with independent charge for ministry of ayush shripad yeso nayak and we recently also celebrated yoga day on 21st of june so who is is the ayurveda physician who has been appointed special secretary his name is rajesh kotecha rajesh kotecha which of the following united nation organizations in its report has stated that paris climate agreement is the only opportunity to save the coral reefs around the world so coral reefs in the world are being destroyed because of increase in the temperature of the water coral bleaching is taking place and countries like australia which have the great barrier reef and everything is suffering in india also we have coral reefs in lakshadweep and to a very limited extent in andaman nicobar mainly lakshadweep are the coral islands in india and this report 
uh, has been this uh, this observation has been made by UNESCO United Nation Education Scientific and Cultural Organization and its headquarters is also in Paris interestingly Paris climate agreement America recently pulled out of Paris climate agreement which was called COP21 what was the theme of international day of yoga this time theme was very very simple actually this time yoga for health as simple as that yoga for health yoga is said to be India's gift to the world and uh, its main event was conducted in the capital of Uttar Pradesh Lucknow and also 8,000 children they performed yoga together forming the largest chain in Mysuru Lord Jagannath Rath Yatra celebrations recently began in which state so this is the as easy a question as you can get in exam it began in of course Odisha Jagannath Yatra, Yatra. please note that when the Yatra returns it is called return card festival or also called Bahuda Jatra and Odisha's governor, can you name one of the toughest questions? S.C. Jamir is the governor of Odisha. And chief minister everybody knows is Navin Patnaik of the Biju Janta Dal, who has become the first turbaned Sikh woman to be appointed in the judiciary in Canada. Canada's prime minister is Justin Trudeau. Canada's capital is Ottawa. Canada's currency is Canadian dollar. And her name is Palbinder Kaur Shergill. She is the judge in the Supreme Court of British Columbia in the new Westminster. NCAER has revised India's economic growth projection for the current fiscal from 7.3% to what? So basically NCAER is National uh, Council of Applied Economic Research and according to them we will grow by 7.6% in the current fiscal. So keep that in mind and our WPI inflation that is wholesale price index inflation is projected at 6.7% for current fiscal that is 2017-18. Which state government? is going to launch a mobile app which is called my plant in fact this state is very ambitious about its planting uh, it wants to plant four crore trees only in seven days starting first of july ending 7th of july this state is of course maharashtra and maharashtra's chief minister is devinder fadnavis it is a coalition government between shiv sena and bharti janta party and maharashtra's governor is of course sividya sagar rao india is going to buy how many unmanned guardian drones from usa unmanned means that you know that drones they don't need to be they don't need to have a person sitting inside them they are mechanized so unmanned guardian drones we are buying 22 drones at an estimated cost of 3 billion dollars from america very very powerful our income tax department which is called central board of direct tax recently notified the rules for operationalizing the provisions of which of the following under transfer pricing so transfer pricing was uh, you know this is called secondary adjustment actually and secondary adjustment was introduced as per the finance act of 2017 just note that there the time limit for this is 90 days which union ministry recently launched a dedicated web page to address the issues related to gst there is a separate uh, web page now if you have any grievances related to gst you can inform here this is the ministry of dt or also called Department of Electronics and Information Technology. So IT and Electronics and Minister for same is Ravi Shankar Prasad. Which of the following organizations recently released World Drug Report? So drugs I'm talking about it is the UNODC which is the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime and it made some very startling observations like for example uh, 30 million almost 30 million people 3 crore uh, adult population of the world consumes drugs proper drugs they are drug addicts and the most harmful is the opioids which of the following fashion companies fashion label won the compassionate business award by people for the ethical treatment of animals that is the PETA that is in their fashion they don't uh, use they don't exploit animals it is Rason and Rason has uh, you know brand ambassador in the form of Sonam Kapoor she is a brand ambassador of Rason and also Rhea Kapoor and please also note Sonam Kapoor was recently voted as the hottest vegetarian celebrity of 2016 first time which country has developed a train that runs on virtual tracks virtual tracks means the uh, the railway uh, tracks will not be visible to you and they will be sort of a hidden and the train can uh, run on still run on these virtual tracks using sensor technology in fact the train can run at a speed of almost 70 km per hour this train is developed by china and they have named it ART that is autonomous rail rapid transit and the train will run on rubber tires by the way which state recently launched the Mukhbir Yojana Mukhbir is a person who is an informer to the police so if there is any female feticide carrying on in this state you can inform to the police under the Mukhbir Yojana this state has been uh, this scheme actually has been 
लॉन्च बाय द उत्तर प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट उत्तर प्रदेश गवर्नर इज राम नायक हु गेव दी ओथ टू द चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ फतेह द म्यूजिक ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वर्ल्ड म्यूजिक डे टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन विच डे दिस मार्क्स द बिगनिंग ऑफ द समर सोलिस्टिस वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ समर सोलिस्टिस सोलिस्टिस मीन्स वेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डे एंड नाइट इज मैक्सिमम इट इज ऑन जून द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट एंड वेन द इट इज मिनिमम दैट इज द डे इज इक्वल टू नाइट इट इज कॉल्ड इक्विनॉक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज गोइंग टू बी अवॉर्डेड क्वींस यंग लीडर्स अवार्ड This award will be given to anti-hunger activist who has done seminal work in eliminating hunger. His name is Ankit Quatra. Ankit Quatra, who has been appointed as as India's new Home Secretary. This is one of the most important questions because Home Secretary is no ordinary post. Previously, it was Rajiv Maharishi, and our Home Minister is of course Rajnath Singh. Rajiv Maharishi, and now he will be replaced by Mr. Rajiv Gowda. Which city has? top the list of 30 smart cities recently announced by the government under smart cities mission by the way government is planning to increase the number from 30 to 90 now so if somebody asks you how many smart cities will be built in india just say 90 and this city which has topped is of course the capital of kerala tiruvananthapuram because it has attracted a investment of almost 57000 crore rupees so that you need to keep in mind and uh, governor of kerala very pe few people know his name is justice p satashivam Justice P. Sata Shivam. He is the governor of Kerala and chief minister is Pinarayi Vijayan of the CPIM party. India recently amended the bilateral social security agreement with which country to include the country of residence principle. So bilateral social security agreement India has with eighteen countries, and recently it has amended it with Netherlands. By the way, Netherlands is also called Holland. The people who live in Netherlands or Holland they are called Dutch, and the capital is Amsterdam. Currency is. Euro. Odisha government recently approved how many urban projects at an investment of almost five hundred thirty-eight crore rupees under the Amrut scheme. Amrut scheme is basically our cities; they need to be revived, they need to be transformed. So it is called Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation, which is basically we need to modernize our cities. For that, fifty-three schemes have been launched by the government of Odisha, and. Uh, these schemes will be funded in the ratio of fifty fifty. Fifty percent will be borne by the state and fifty percent by the center. When is World Refugee Day observed every year? So we have plenty of refugees because in lot of countries some civil war is going on like Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, you know Yemen, Sudan, and so on. So World Refugee Day we observe on June the twentieth. Ju June the twentieth. Olympic Day is celebrated every year on June the twenty third. Olympic Day was first celebrated in which year? it was first celebrated in 1948 do you know that olympic games were first held in 1896 in athens which is the capital of greece and again athens hosted olympics in 2004 so olympics they were founded by a person called baron pierre de coubertin the most important games in the world which is for amateurs please not professionals don't play in olympic games if you turn professional you can't participate in olympic games or any games for that matter for example one of india's boxer vijender singh he turned professional so now he can't participate in olympics or commonwealth and the things like that so 1948 is the answer who has been conferred with the biju patnaik award for scientific excellence see biju patnaik award is given by the government of odisha because biju patnaik was the father of the current chief minister of odisha navin patnaik and party's name is also named after him biju janata dal and uh, the person who has got this award is lalit mohan das lalit mohan das cabinet has recently approved a memorandum of understanding with netherlands in the field of what so i told you netherlands is called holland people who live there are called dutch and currency is euro capital is amsterdam we have signed an mou with netherlands in the field of water management please not from indian side uh, minister for water resources management ganga cleaning and river development is uma bharti as per the report world population prospects the 2017 revision by the united nations india's population will surpass china's by which year so i'll tell you some very interesting things now right now the population of the world is uh, 760 crore okay right now as we speak 760 crore is the population of the world india's population is 134 crore china's population is 141 crore now there is a difference of only 7 crore between india and china china's is 7 crore more than india now let's take an example of 2030 In 2030, world's population will be 860 crore. In 2050, the world's population will be 980 crore. So well, it might uh, you know 980 crore. That's a lot of people. Now, 
India will cross China by the year 2024 as per this report world population prospects spice jet i recently took a flight from dharamshala in himachal pradesh to delhi in spice jet anyways spice jet recently tied up with which of the following aircraft manufacturers for purchase of 50 q400 aircrafts worth 1.7 billion dollars which is almost 10000 crore rupees see these aircraft q400 they are very very small in fact only 86 people can sit in these planes but they are buying it for smaller places like perhaps dharamshala when i boarded the flight from dharamshala only it was a 80 seater very very small cute plane and it was only 50% occupied so only 40 people were sitting anyways now the government has launched udan that is underserved and unserved airports will be connected through udan so therefore they need more planes now they will buy it from bombardier okay and spice jet managing director and chairman is mr ajay singh right now it is one of the best airlines that we have low cost which indian movie has won at the shanghai international film festival in the best action movie category this action movie category is called jackie chan action you know so the name of the film is sultan by the way let me ask you a very out of the box question if you can answer you know uh, president of one country recently visited india and you know what he said to modi he said to modi that i really like the movie dangal we are not very good good in terms of our camaraderie or synergy with that country we are like uh, opposites we are like enemies with that country so to say now which country's president recently told prime minister modi that i really like the movie dangal can you write in comments isro recently launched how many satellites along with carto sat 2 from satish dhawan space center which is located in shri harikota andhra pradesh now carto sat 2 is basically a remote sensing satellite total 31 satellites were launched i mean 30 satellites plus carto sat so answer is 30 and uh, it's a remote sensing satellite its weight is a whopping 712 kg and uh, out of these uh, 30 nano satellites these were the 30 nano satellites or small satellites only one was indian and the remaining were of foreign countries isro's chairman is as kiran kumar and i told you isro is headquartered in bengaluru which of the following companies has launched india's first self made made in india indigenously built floating dock which which will be used for repairing the navy ships the company name is of course larsen and tubro in which the government in disinvested its 2.5% stake for more than 4000 crore rupees there was a 70 member board of trade meeting recently and it was chaired by the minister of commerce and trade nirmala sitaraman this meeting was recently held where this meeting was uh, you know its agenda was to discuss ways in which how can india boost its exports it was in new delhi who has become the first indian woman to participate in the world wrestling entertainment it is kavita devi kavita devi is a former indian power lifter and she is also south asian games gold medalist which country has launched a research project to compile the data on south china sea now south china sea china has been trying to exert its dominance in south china sea and therefore this data will be compiled from 50s 1950s by china of course china's president is xi jinping currency is renminbi or yuan capital is beijing government has observed anti emergency day on which day emergency was imposed by indira gandhi 1975 it is also called one of the darkest chapters in indian democracy and for that the day will be observed on june 25th and june 26th biotechnology innovation organization which is called bio international convention 2017 was recently held where it was held in united states of america at a place called san diego reliance defense ammunition which is a company which manufactures arms and ammunition weapons basically for indian army navy air force etc it has signed an agreement to manufacture ammunition in india with defense major yugo import of which country so reliance and yugo import together they will manufacture ammunition in india yugo import is a company of serbia serbia's capital is belgrade and there is a important player of serbia tennis player novak djokovic novak djokovic which are the two nations who have recently joined icc as full members during icc annual conference which was held in the capital of england london icc so uh, who is the ceo of icc mr dev richardson mr dev richardson he is from south africa he is the ceo of icc icc by the way is headquartered in dubai and what is the meaning of uh, full members full members means that these two countries will now be able to play test match cricket so total 12 test match playing nations are there now and these are of course ireland and afghanistan so the answer is 2 and 3 amrit pal passed away he was a famous what so mr amrit pal he used to play villain in hindi movies in the 90s and 80s so he was a actor union cabinet recently approved a memorandum of understanding with australia in the field of what 
so australia and india together we will um, you know we will have a mou in the field of textile and our textile minister is um, you know our textile minister is smriti rani earlier she was hrd minister but now she is textile minister hrd minister now is prakash javdekar final location survey of the world's highest railway track is going to commence where where will be world's highest railway track built at a height of 3300 meters and its length will be 498 km from bilaspur to manali to leh so it will be in india and it will be even higher than the uh, tibet railway that is king zai to tibet railway which is in china right now it is the highest and in india it will be built at a cost of 157 crore rupees our railway minister is suresh prabhu what was the theme of 2017 campaign of day of seafarer which was celebrated every year by the international maritime organization on june the 25th so please note that the day of the seafarer is observed every day by international maritime organization on june the 25th my second question for you today where is the headquarter of international maritime organization write down in comments the theme this year was seafarers matter india recently signed a memorandum of understanding with which country for cooperation in the field of archives what are archives archives are like your old storage files folders they are all called archives records basically so we will cooperate with portugal portugal is a very important country right now its capital is lisbon portugal has a very important player in cristiano ronaldo and uh, portugal's uh, ex prime minister that is antonio guterres is right now the secretary general of united nations india is working on building world's biggest telescope which will be called 30 meter telescope in this project india is doing with four countries how much will india be spending on the project india will spend a whopping 1300 crore rupees on the project and which are those four countries united states is there canada is there japan is there and china is there who resigned recently from the post of indian cricket team's head coach probably he was ashamed because india lost to pakistan so badly so he is anil kumble by the way uh, he was not alone because sri lanka's coach graham ford he also resigned graham ford our home our union minister venkaiah naidu who is a union minister for two things well, first is uh, information broadcasting and urban development he recently inaugurated a project called homes for all homes for all property show where where did he launch it he launched it in ahmedabad which is in gujarat and ahmedabad's old name is karnavati karnavati there is a very important river also in ahmedabad which is called sabarmati which state won the award for constructing the highest number of rural roads this award was given by the ministry of rural development and our minister for transport is nitin gadkari but our minister for rural development is narendra singh tomar so it is the state of bihar which has a coalition government of lalu's party which is called rjd rashtriya janata dal and nitish kumar's party jdu uh, so janata dal united and chief minister is of course nitish kumar which institute has become the first recipient of prime minister's award for outstanding contribution towards the promotion and development of yoga at the national level this is very very important yoga day was observed we have a separate ministry for yoga called ayush ministry and this institute is the ram amani ayyengar memorial ram amani ayyengar memorial memorial it is in pune by the way don't think that it is ayyengar so it will be in tamil nadu it is in pune so don't make such mistakes government recently approved a proposal for setting up a greenfield airport where so greenfield no frills airport i told you was in orakul in uh, kurnool but this is a greenfield airport which is got the approval uh, this is a approval this is not the foundation stone foundation stone means it is at an advanced stage already started building but there is only a approval this will be built in noida if they ask where in noida it is a place called jewar noida is also included in the national capital region although noida is in uttar pradesh sebi which is the capital market regulator securities and exchange board of india recently relaxed the rules for which of the following i will cover this in detail in my banking awareness video it is the stressed assets acquisition stress and who is the chairman of sebi mr ajay tyagi you can see his photo here nasa recently launched world's light test satellite weighing just 64 grams it has been developed by students of which country it has been developed by the students of india and there is a guy called rifat sharuk Rifat Sharuk and his team they have made the satellite it weighs only 64 gram and they have named it Kalam Sat after APJ Abdul Kalam who has become the youngest person to be appointed by United Nations Inter International Children's Emergency Fund which is headquartered in New York which does lot of work for children as a goodwill ambassador she is the youngest brand ambassador she is also a person who who is a refugee 
and she's the first person with official refugee status to be appointed as an ambassador of UNICEF. She is only 19 years old. No, it is not Malala Yousafzai, but it is Mozun Al Melhan. This girl. This is Malala Yousafzai. And UNICEF, who is the executive director of UNICEF? Anthony Lake. Remember his name? Anthony Lake. Balswin Lonsdal. He was passed away recently. He was the president of which country? This country, you might have not even heard of it. It is called the Vanuatu. And Vanuatu's capital is Port Vila. Which state's health minister, Lal Thanjara, recently launched test and treat strategy for fighting AIDS, HIV affected people. So AIDS is basically the last stage of HIV affected person, human immunodeficiency virus, which produces a deficiency of the helper T cells. Therefore, immunity is completely compromised due to deficiency of white blood cells. And he is the health minister of Mizoram. Capital is Aizual. Vinci Quadros and M.A. Nayak, they have been conferred with Sahitya Academy Award. Sahitya Academy Award is given for 24 languages. They write in which language? So both of them, they write in the Konkani language. There is a 100 megawatt project which is called Sainj Hydropower Project. Government has started building it. In fact, the first tranche, that is the 50 megawatt out of 100 has all, already been commissioned. Where? So it has been commissioned in Himachal Pradesh. And where in Himachal Pradesh? On a river which is called Sainj River, S-A-I-N-G. It is a tributary of Bias River. Bias River also flows through Punjab. And please also note that Himachal's uh, Chief Minister is Virbhadra Singh. Everybody knows of Congress Party. But Governor is Acharya Devrat. Very few people know. Acharya Devrat is the Governor. Which bank has partnered with Kochi Metro Rail to launch India's first open loop eat MV contactless metro card which is called Kochi 1. This bank is the Axis Bank. And uh, Axis has partnered with National Payments Corporation of India with this bank with this card now you can pay for your metro I and mean, there are a lot of services involved here but please note access bank is headquartered in mumbai and ceo is shikha sharma our minister for civil aviation ashok gajapati raju he recently announced that 33 destinations will be covered or connected under the udan scheme udan is a scheme which is called ude desh kaam nagrik where there will be low cost airlines the government has put a cap of like 2500 crore 2500 rupees per ticket on less than one hour flight and things like that unserved and underserved airports will be connected please note that udan first flight was from delhi to shimla so they are asking that uh, uh, 33 destinations will be covered under udan scheme by which date what is the deadline deadline is september 2017 which of the following sports governing bodies recently changed its name it is headquartered in south korea south korea's capital is seoul and currency is won w n won it is the World Taekwondo Federation. World Taeko Taekwondo Federation, they have removed the word Federation. Now they are also only called World Taekwondo. Our Home Ministry recently notified that Aadhaar is not a valid identification document for Indians traveling to which of the following countries. So these two countries are Nepal and Bhutan. So I'll tell you something interesting. If you want to go to Nepal and Bhutan, you don't need visa, provided you have either your passport or you have your election ID card. But you cannot claim that I have Aadhaar and therefore I don't need visa. It is visa less only if you have passport and election card, not Aadhaar. So that is why Home Ministry said that Aadhaar is not a valid identification document. Vajra scheme has been launched by the Department of Science and Technology. Who is our Minister of Science and Technology? Dr. Harshwardhan, who is also the additional charge of Ministry of Environment. So Vajra scheme has been launched. Vajra scheme is regarding whom? Vajra scheme, it's Vajra. What does the word Vajra stands for? It stands for Visiting Advanced Joint Research Faculty. So basically the NRI scientists who are there abroad and Indian scientists, they need to work together for the betterment of the nation. Who has been appointed as the deputy chairman of International Cricket Council? This is a direct question. Just mug his name up. Imran Khwaja. And uh, ICC, it has 105 members. 12 are full-time members. 37 are associate members. And 56 are affiliate members. Which state government has been awarded United Nations Public Service Award for the Kanya Shri Parakalpa Initiative? Kanya Shri Parakalp initiative was taken by the government of West Bengal, Mamta Banerjee. Mamta Banerjee. Which of the following municipalities has launched India's biggest municipal bonds program? Basically, they have issued bonds and they want to raise 2,264 crore rupees in the next five years. It has been done by Pune, um, Pune Municipal Corporation. And it was launched by Venkaiya Naidu on Bombay Stock Exchange, which is the oldest stock exchange, not just in India, but Asia. Which company has tied up with Clear Tax? to assist sellers become GST ready. 
this is a important question this company is amazon who is the who is the founder or the chairman of amazon jeff bezos and uh, amazon's main competitor is flipkart founded by sachin and binny bansal world bank and asian infrastructure investment bank they have granted a loan of 380 million dollars to india for building a power project in which state this power project will be built in andhra pradesh and 60 40 ratio is there 60 percent will be provided by world bank from 380 million and 40 percent by asian infrastructure investment bank now world bank's uh, president is jim yong kim and world bank ceo is kirstina georgieva now aiib its president is jin likan jin likan is the ex finance minister of china and aiib is headquartered in in beijing and world bank in washington dc which indian businessman has been honored with the carnegie medal of philanthropy philanthropy means when you do something good for the society you donate charity lot of money like that so azim prem ji who is the founder of wipro he has been honored with this award this is very very prestigious award by the way which state has won the national award for achieving the targets under the mission amrut that is uh, the atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation this state is chatisgarh and it has won this award second year in a row chatisgarh capital is naya raipur and chatisgarh's uh, chief minister is dr raman singh chatisgarh's governor nobody knows his name is balram ji das tandon in the exam you will not find chief minister now they are asking governor now cabinet recently approved a memorandum of understanding with which country for cooperation in areas of traditional systems of medicine and homeopathy like for example in south india we have the siddha yunani in tamil nadu etc we will cooperate in the ayush fields with a country which is sri lanka now my third question for you today who is the prime minister of sri lanka president i will tell you it is maithri pala sirisena okay and sri lanka uh, currency is sri lankan rupee capital is shri javardhane puri kotte but you need to tell me who is the prime minister of sri lanka india recently finalized a road map to boost bilateral defense cooperation with which country with which country we will cooperate in defense we will cooperate with of course russia in fact there was 17th india russia intergovernmental commission on military technical cooperation recently which was held in the capital of russia moscow and russia's president is vladimir putin who won the world wrestling entertainment championship at the wwe money in the bank which was held in st louis in missouri in united states of america so jinder mahal he beat randy orton who is the author of the book the emergency indian democracy's darkest star it was launched by venkaiah naidu this book is written by mr surya prakash surya prakash is an important person because he is the chairman of prasar bharti which broadcasts doordarshan who has been given this award best sportsman of it the year she deserved it because she is olympic silver medalist pv sindhu olympic silver medalist in badminton as per fitch fitch is headquartered in new york city it's a credit rating agency india's gdp will grow by what percent in 2018-19 that is financial year 2019 we will grow at a healthy 7.5 percent and according to fitch in 2019-20 that is financial year to financial year 2020 we will grow at 7.6 percent which of the following organizations or institution has developed a satellite based chip system which will alert the road users at unmanned travel crossings so if there are any unmanned crossings which are a source of lot of accidents users will be alerted because of this satellite based chip system developed by isro is isro is headquartered in bengaluru chairman is as kiran kumar an international documentary film festival recently began in which northeastern city we are we call it seven sisters the northeastern states very much a part of india but some people they discriminate unnecessarily so this festival was organized in guwahati which is in assam assam chief minister is sarbanand sonowal and assam recently inaugurated a sadia uh, you know to basically assam to arunachal there was a bridge which was inaugurated uh, and uh, it is called sadia dhola bridge something like that and uh, assam governor is banwari lal purohit and uh, another thing this was the first international level film festival in guwahati it is named guwahati international documentary film festival which country recently developed a superconductive magnetic anomaly detection array which is the world's most powerful submarine detector world's most powerful submarine detector was launched by china and this will be very handy because they want to exert their domination in the south china sea estonia the neighbor of russia it has partnered with which country to set up world's first data embassy estonia is partnering with luxembourg for the same and estonia's capital is tallinn and luxembourg's capital is luxembourg city which new zealand and australian cricket player recently announced retirement from international cricket so there is a player who is called keepler vessels keepler vessels was the first player to play for both new zealand and australia 
The second player to play for both New Zealand and Australia is Luke Ronchi. He has announced his retirement. New Zealand's capital is Wellington. Australia's capital is Canberra. International Cricket Council Women's World Cup 2017 is currently being held where? So it is being held in England. And Mithali Raj, she made a world record in the opening match only. And ICC Women's World Cup 2017. By the way, Blind World Cup will take place in 2018. And its brand ambassador is Shahid Afridi. And Blind World Cup, which was in 2017, which was won by India, its brand ambassador was Rahul Dravid. Which of the following states have become the fourth and fifth states in India to be declared open defecation free? You can't just go and relieve yourself in the open now in these states. They are open defecation free. Fourth state is Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand Chief Minister is Trivendra Singh Rawat of the Bharatiya Janta Party. Capital is Dehradun. And Haryana capital is Chandigarh along with Punjab. Punjab's capital also Chandigarh which is Union Territory. Haryana's uh, governor is Kaptan Singh Solanki. And Chief Minister is Manohar Lal Khattar. Now Uttarakhand and Haryana. Haryana is the fifth. So I am from Haryana. And before this there were three states which were open defecation free. Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim and Kerala. So my fourth question for you today, which was the first state in India to be declared open defecation free? Write down in comments. Who won the Social Entrepreneur of the Year Award at the 7th Asian Awards which were held in London, capital of England? This award was won by Nisha Dutt. Who is Nisha Dutt? She is the CEO of a company called Intel Cap. Employees Provident Fund Organization has recently signed an agreement with which of the following? They have signed an agreement with Hadco. Why they have signed? So that under Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, also called Housing for All, there can be a subsidy of 2.67 lakh which can be given. It's a credit link subsidy. And who is our Labour Minister? Mr. Bandaru Dattatreya. Who has been appointed as the Managing Director of this company which is called Manapuram Home Finance. Just mug it up, not an important question. Uh, just mug up the name. The name is Mr. Jeevan Das Narayan. As per our Health Ministry, Patients would now need to furnish their Aadhaar card details to avail cash assistance under the government scheme for which disease? There is a scheme which has been launched for tuberculosis, very very dangerous disease of our respiratory system caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, a bacteria and uh, so basically if you have an Aadhaar card and you give your details, you will not be denied any diagnosis and treatment of tuberculosis in any government hospital and if you want to avail subsidy then you need to have Aadhaar details. Our health minister is JP Nanda who has been appointed as the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of IDFC Limited. IDFC Limited, the uh, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, again it's a direct question, just mug the name of Sunil Kakkar. Operation Swan has recently been launched by Railway Ministry to improve the services in which trains? There are two very fast trains in India, Rajdhani and Shatabdi. So answer is one and two. Their services will be improved under the Operation Swan. Swan means gold. How much amount of loan has been given by the World Bank for the Assam state? Public Finance Institution Reforms Project. Assam wants to reinvigorate its public finance institution and there will be reforms that will be carried out at a cost of $44 million. $44 million is the amount given by World Bank. Which country has imposed a dependent fee on the expatriates? That is if there are foreigners living in this country, they have to pay 100 riyal per month per person if they want to stay. So this is Saudi Arabia. Which airline is the best in the world? as awarded by the Skytrax 2017 World Airline Award. The best airline in the world is Qatar Airways. It was in some sort of trouble because of, um, you know, non-ambassadorial relationships with more than seven countries. So there was airway space which was freezed and therefore Qatar Airways was in some trouble. Second best airline in the world is Singapore Airlines. And the best low-cost airline in the world is Air Asia. Air Asia. Who is the first male Chinaman bowler to play for India in one-day matches? He recently made his debut in West Indies. His name is Kuldeep Yadav. Chinaman, we say left arm spin bowler, uh, generating an off spin delivery. That is called a Chinaman. And the first bowler was Ellis Achong of West Indies. He was the first Chinaman bowler. Who has been appointed as the first head of United Nations Counter Terrorism Center? He is a Russian. His name is Vladimir Voronkov, and it is the first attempt by the United Nations to counter terrorism. So these were the best multiple choice questions. I hope you enjoyed the video. In English language, I keep, will keep bringing to you and very soon I'll bring to you the banking awareness video also within two days. So do check that out and please share the video as much as you can. That's the only thing that I expect from you. Thank you very much.